This is Life in Art. I'm Dawn Okoro and I'm an artist. And today I'm going to tell you about my recent New York trip. People posed for my paintings and it was awesome. I've always wanted to be able to travel the world and meet all kinds of interesting people and hopefully find people that would want to pose for, for my paintings in all these places. And so I'm starting that now. And the first part of that was this, this New York trip. And because whenever I make my work, uh, I have to look at a photo of the person as I'm painting so I can keep the proportions right and all that. And so that's what this trip was for, was to gather some reference images that I can use uh, to paint from. All the people that I shot during this trip, I had met before in, in some way. Um, one of them I had also shot images of her before for a painting. So before this trip, I hit everyone up, reached out, hey, I'm coming to New York soon. Would you be available to pose for a painting? You know, would you be interested in this? And luckily, these people were, were kind enough to take the time out to do this. So I headed up to, so I booked my ticket, hotel and all that and headed up. Um, and also I, I even uh, booked a studio, which is a first for me to actually go up there and, and book a professional studio because normally these shoots would be like, you know, at my house or at someone's house or something like that. So it was cool to be able to, to have more of a professional space to do my work in. My last time in New York was 2021, and so during that time we were deep into the pandemic, and so New York was a bit quieter than what I'm used to, but this time around uh, things were still different, but it was definitely a bit more lively. I was staying in Soho, so it was a quick walk to Little Italy, so I just kind of walked around a little bit that night, grabbed some food, and Little Italy and the little people watching saw some touristy stuff and turned it in early that night uh, so I could be well rested for this shoot because I, I was nervous about the first day of shoots mainly because I just want to make sure that uh, the people that I'm shooting feel comfortable and that everything goes smoothly and that I get good images that I can use. Directing for a photo shoot is a learned skill and I'm still working on that. But I do feel more comfortable directing a model now than I did 10 years ago. It's important for the subject to feel comfortable in what they're doing because that will come across in the photos and in the artwork. I am in the car, headed to the studio for my first photo shoot of the day. Everyone is confirmed. And um, now all we have to do is, uh, is get to the studio, get checked in, get a look at everything, and just uh, get, get all the lights set up and all that. We're at Lounge Studios. I'm in here. It started off as a as a music recording studio, and now they've branched out and added a photography studio, and it's owned by my friend Ava Rain and her husband. I'm all set up, and now I'm just waiting for my first model to arrive. So I'm just gonna take a few shots of the sea cows again. I'm trying to be cute. I know. <laughs> Adrian Warren has been supportive of my work for years and she even owns one of my paintings. Yeah, I like the uh, detour in that way. If you look towards the light, now look back at me. I told her to wear whatever she wants for the shoot and she arrived in this Isimiyaki set, top and pants and the material would have these um, little pleats all throughout and then there were these blocks of color all over the outfit. Quiet and just relax <laughs> on a beach. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> After the 
she would ask Adrian a few questions that might inform the painting. It's gonna be like, what's your favorite food? <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> Let me, let me pull up my questions that I have here. <laughs> questions, okay. So the first question would be, um, what, what makes you feel confident? Ooh, what makes me feel confident? <laughs> um, being healthy makes me feel confident. Um, being hydrated. <laughs> yeah, that's important. <laughs> um, and also, uh, rest and taking care of myself. That makes me feel the most confident. I'm makes learning. Sense. <laughs> Some things that I can think about as I'm making the work. So I just um, photographed Adrian, and um, I can say she was just so easy to work with. Just, just. Natural, naturally knowing how to pose, um, just just really fun, and I'm just I'm so happy that she was able to take time to do this. And I just kind of just let her go and do her thing, and it was perfect and awesome. The next person I'm photographing today is Sada Patter. She is an artist, writer, and curator. I first met her when I was part of a show at a gallery in Brooklyn back in 2019. Later on during that show, um, she asked, you know, do you want any coffee or anything? I'm going to the store around the corner. And I said, sure, I would love some iced coffee. And she went around the corner and came back with, with some coffees. And she was so kind. We kept in touch and she even interviewed me for her web show a couple years ago. More, more fun stuff. What fun is like, stuff? Like collaborations yeah. and partnerships. And I told, I told you, Shane, she uh, hooked me up with like a Mary J. Blige. Yeah, I have to follow up with it because I got one picture of a set, but it was a different artwork. But yeah, yeah. I some artwork on it. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I know, me too. Sadev does yoga, and so she tried some yoga poses during the shoot, and I thought that was really interesting, so I could definitely see myself maybe using uh, one of those poses in the actual painting. Stand up, and there was some, some cute stuff that you were doing with your, with your leg. Can you, can you tell yeah. me? Let me try something like that again. Yeah, we're staying in a hotel in Soho. I asked Sadef if she had a message she'd like to share. The possibilities of what we can do are endless, so don't let someone else tell you what your life, career, relationship should look like. Allow yourself room and space to dream. That's awesome. I wish that it, I wish that I had had that message when I was like eighteen. I know exactly. <laughs> I feel like I did that with my career, right? Where I was mm -hmm. like, you know, I left the job, and then I kept looking for other jobs that would fit what I wanted to do. And when I couldn't find it, I was like, fuck it, I just gotta do it, figure this out myself. And it's like similarly now, I think in my personal friendships, relationships, I'm like, okay, it's time to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Really, just allow myself to ideate. That's 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 wonderful. Yeah, that's. that's well, I'm beautiful. proud of us. Look at us doing the thing. I know. Like, <laughs> but yeah, you know when I met you, I was still a dean of the middle school. Oh yeah. Right. So you tell me. You get okay. The next person to arrive is Fatima Bulkham. Oh, that's, I love how it's a different pattern in the back. Fatima is a curator, and she actually curated some of my work into a show uh, that she put on a few years ago. We've kept in touch ever since, and she even came and visited me in my studio in Austin uh, not too long ago. I'm just getting the texture and, yeah, the front and back. Fatima wore her big hair in a really colorful outfit from West Africa. And it was just uh, really fun working with her. How, how do you express your individuality? It's funny, I think that I express my individuality definitely through fashion. I can see that. <laughs> fashion is my way of expressing myself overall. Um, and I think secondly with the art. So the choices that I make from my you know, art curation um, or even the pieces that I have in my own home. Mm -hmm. like I. I do want to feel good every day again, and I do want to remind myself of, of the things that I care about, and so curation, thinking about aesthetics, things like that do. Um, I could definitely see that. 
Check back for part two where I do my second day of photo shoots in New York. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media and until next time see you later. Thank you.